Hi. So I'm doing a new video. Um, I'm going to be creating a next cloud um, cloud server, and I'm going to be putting it behind my firewall and accessing it via a VPN. So this is what I'm going to build it on. So I had I down I well downgraded, uh, switched out from using. I had I had a lot of um, HP DL360 servers which were very noisy and very power hungry so I decided I was going to do a massive downgrade so I converted all of my servers to Raspberry Pi model uh, 4's 8GB um, and I needed a way of housing them so I came up with this design um, it's just a piece of folded aluminium which I had made by a local uh, engineering firm um, so the Raspberry Pi mounts on top and it's got space for two discs inside if I want uh, mirroring, which I'm going to have for the um, for the cloud server because it's going to be holding important data. At the moment, this is currently being used as the camera server and the data is not absolutely critical. That's why it's only got one disc in. Um, but it's just basically, so two Ethernet connection. One thing I'm going to change about this actually while I'm, while I'm talking about it if you'll notice, that you'll see the Raspberry Pi is just mounted off the surface. And the problem with that is when I put the memory uh, LAN cable in, I can't get it out again. I have to stick something underneath to wiggle it up. So I'm going to be raising this up. Uh, so I've got clearance to get my finger underneath to unplug the, um, the LAN cable. I've got two. I've got one here at the moment. I've got another one I've got a, in a box somewhere. We've got the two discs are running off the two USB 3 ports and then I've got two ports spare for keyboard and mouse if I need it during installation but I'll be doing most of it through SSH um, not interested in the GPIA ports passive cooling passive cooling everywhere so it's really low power really quiet um, I put these uh, sticky rubber um, the sheet on the bottom here just to keep it still and to protect it from vibration. Um, and that's it really. So I'm going to disassemble this. I've got two new four gig disks for the um, uh, for the cloud. I'm going to wipe this um, and install a fresh copy of Linux. Install Next Cloud uh, using Docker, and then set up the firewall for the VPN and hopefully I'll be able to have all my data synced across my devices using NetsCloud and it keeps all my data private and I don't have to have it on public clouds. So I'll uh, get this disassembled and get it reassembled with uh, the new disk thing. So this is suddenly a very short video. I just unwrapped, I was going to do an unboxing of uh, the two new discs that I bought to make the cloud server and Amazon have shipped me these things. Amazon Warehouse, which I believe means it's second hand. And you can see here that it's been opened and sellotaped shut. And it's got extra stickers over the top of it. And likewise for this one. So they're going straight back. There are some products I wouldn't mind having secondhand, but not a disc drive. So, sorry this is a bit of a short video, but that's what happens when you accidentally order disc drives from Amazon instead of the place I normally get them from, which is scan.co.uk. And just for reference, I'm not affiliated with them at all. That's just where I normally get my hardware from. And I haven't ordered any for a while, and I just ordered it from Amazon without thinking. I won't be doing that again. So it's a little bit of a clickbait, but hopefully not too much. Um, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks. Bye.